Okay, so we're on the trail and I'm just gonna hold the camera with both hands right now because this iPhone is so much heavier than my lighter one. Okay, so let's talk about persistence and let's talk about how we, in order to get to our completing our goals, okay, we all have goals, we have to take an assessment of where we are and what we're doing and where we are spending our time. So it might look like looking at your calendar, whether that's a paper calendar or a digital calendar, and really looking what things are you filling in your life. Are they things that you really want to be doing? Are they things that you really need to do? Can you download some of this stuff and delegate it to somebody else? That might mean that you have to pay somebody to do things that you don't necessarily want to do for yourself anymore. Um, are there ways that you can um, maximize your time and maybe only um, do a portion of what's on this uh, particular to-do list? Like maybe can you pick your top five points and focus on the generating outcomes for those five points and then all the other um, tasks and action steps that need to be done is there someone else that you can delegate those steps to um, so that they can manage it and you can release some of your time so that you can focus on other major more pressing tasks so let's come to again circumstances and i think that's the issue here today is that many of us look at our current circumstances and we believe that our current circumstances are our end all and be all and when we look at the fact that maybe there's not enough money coming in to the level that we would like it to be maybe because of having our environment disrupted maybe um our environment is not supporting us in the way that we're used to our environment supporting us so again we need to take an assessment of what is truly going on and from making that assessment of what is truly going on then we need to make some decisions so let's say that you made your list your positive and negative list mm -hmm. uh -huh. let's say you made your positive and negative list and within your positive and negative list you've identified that your environment is your priority. I'm gonna stop here and pick up again.